Prince Harry has continued to make accusations against the royal family in his latest TV interview, this time claiming that they are trying to undermine his memoir Spare because of the controversial contents within it. He stated that the contents of the book may have made the royal family feel uncomfortable and scared. The interview was conducted on the popular American talk show The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. During the interview, host Stephen Colbert questioned Prince Harry on the backlash to the book, asking if he believes the royal family has an active campaign to undermine this book. The Duke of Sussex replied, of course. He went on to add that the British press had been complicit in the so-called campaign against the book. When Colbert suggested that this was aided and abetted by the palace, the Duke of Sussex agreed, stating, again, of course. He went on to explain that, after 38 years, they have told their side of the story. This is the other side of the story. Prince Harry also spoke about why he believes the royal family has a campaign against his book. He stated that, there is a lot in there that, perhaps makes people feel uncomfortable and scared. During the interview, Prince Harry also touched on various other topics, including accusations that he boasted about killing 25 Taliban fighters. He stated that critics are spinning his words and putting his family in danger. Additionally, he showed off a necklace that he claims his brother Prince William broke and had repaired. Harry also discussed his thoughts on the hit TV show The Crown, stating that he had watched old and more recent episodes, despite it covering sensitive topics such as his mother's battle with bulimia and her divorce from Prince Charles. He even poked fun at himself when discussing his frost-bitten penis by laughing at Colbert's jokes about his royal jewels. Prince Harry also shared some positive memories of the Queen, praising her sharp wit and sense of humour. Despite the serious nature of some of the accusations and discussions in the interview, the overall tone was lighter, to fit with the vibe of the late show. The programme opened with a skit where Colbert stood alongside two trumpeters wearing replicas of the uniforms traditionally worn by the state trumpeters of the household cavalry. As they began to play, Prince Harry was pictured on a red carpet and told the TV host that such pomp and pageantry wasn't necessary. But then Colbert was joined by actor Tom Hanks and told the Duke that the trumpets had been intended for Hollywood royalty, rather than British royalty all along. Colbert then offered the Duke of Sussex some tequila before the interview began, recognising that Harry is a very private person for being a public figure. Harry responded, 